Hello everyone, uh, Luke for Smith here. This is, let me just mute, mute my um, PC so I can actually hear myself talk. This is a London Film and Comic Con, a, another convention in London, um, at Olympia in London, Hammersmith, Hammersmith London I should say. This is like footage, I didn't get much which was unfortunate, however the reason why I didn't get much is as you can see the cameras all over the place it was really crowded um and i'm one of those people who respects other people's uh privacy and so i didn't want to get too much of here a lot here's the um actual venue roof it looks really nice looks like an air aircraft ca ca carrier roof uh, I'm just doing like some of the floors. I will go briefly uh, give a rundown. There's two main halls, and there's like about the the main balcony, as you can see up top, around each of the halls. Um, and there is uh, one back hall which has all the guests in it. But in the two main halls is all the exhibitor stands and everything. Here's a, a nice little shot of a um, stands. Um, uh, sculptures and that and little collect collectible items really nice work I must admit here is a predator couldn't get to the um, front of him in time unfortunately you can see his dreads and shit um, yeah uh, yeah like I said forgive me for being a bit all, all over the place here's some Daleks and that uh, this uh, this still was raising money for Great Ormond Street Children's Hospital so I gave him a donation um, uh, to keep them going because I'm nice like that. Um, yeah. Uh, now, uh, saying yeah, I do actually think this is this is um these are a few like overhead shots from the balcony I'm filming ship to show you how big the halls are. I do think that London Film Comic Con is a bit better than London Super Comic Con. Uh, because now I know the, the actual London Super Comic Con Beyond group on um, Facebook is going to be linking me uh, <laughs> for this, but um, with London uh, Super Comic Con convention, is more comic books um, and stuff, and it's not as big as this. Mostly because they, you, you got one hall um, for exhibitors, uh, plus little downstairs bit as well. Uh, and you got another hall for the artist alley. Uh, this one didn't have an artist alley. Here's a easy um, predator from this one. There's a um, dead Deadpool there. It's me panning around because I forgot to turn the bloody camera off. Oh yeah, um, I think yeah, yeah, that was what I was trying to do. get get a better shot. Uh, I'm probably not going to cut that out to be honest with you. I'm, I'm going to leave everything in to make the video a little bit longer. Here's a uh, Lego or Meccano um, sculpture. I'm not quite sure what they call this, feel free to correct me in the comments. Um, so yeah, I'd zoomed like close up so you can see all the like figurines in there as well, because there's a lot of detail in, in this piece right here, it's, it's fantastic. Really nice, nice detail, it actually got down to a teeth, I, re I re really like that. Um, yeah, the main selling point for this convention here is the guests obviously because they charge a lot is uh, toothless and uh, hiccup I never did see them films it's not something that would interest me I don't know why and the um, Star Wars lot here now here's some pictures um, I'm gonna tell you about some pictures here's me filming the interior of this Batmobile here and there's a actual banner in in front of it behind it there this is a sculpture of Captain Jack Sparrow for like 1500 pounds they wanted it and there's a cosplayer of him um, the next one is a uh, Monty Python cosplay which I'm a member of the group I'm not a Monty Python cosplayer mind you uh, here's a Jurassic World 3 cosplay a little poster of Jack Ryan here. There's some longer shots that I took. Some of this was taken by my phone and taken with my camcorder. Here's some shots of the overhead um, ones here. Um, I actually made these like, a little bit longer so it makes more sense. Yeah, I did thoroughly enjoy this 
Um, unfortunately, London Super Comic Con wasn't on this year, so I went to this one um, to to make up for it, and it didn't disappoint. It's, it's good. It's actually cheap. I think it cost me about uh, twenty one pounds uh, per person because it was a Sunday I went. Um, this was on the twenty ninth of um, this month, by the way, of, of um, July two thousand eighteen. Yeah, some of the hold up that blue carpeted bit is the relaxation zone. Uh, and stuff. You can see how crowded it is and all the exhibitors um, about which is really good. The actual hall, um, to be honest with you, it was kind of cool and muggy at the same time because it was like rainy and that, which is rare in the summer heat. And it was nice and breezy in, in the um, hall, so that was quite cute. It also had um, a gaming zone, um, like cosplay, um, uh, Masquerade one, I think there's a ma Masquerade thing there, and a selection of restaurants, there's no fast food joints, but to be honest, you can just go around um, Kensington, which is right next door to Hammersmith, and basically have like Subway on Tesco's or meal deals or whatever, which is what we did, we went to um, Sainsbury's for a £3 meal deal, this is a bit of that Meccano set, and there's that close up shot, uh, this is zoomed in with my um, uh, video camera, uh, that's why it's a little bit more grainier. Uh, it's not the best for taking pictures with, but to be honest with you, you can still see it. Um, yeah, the reason why I'm doing um, a commentary over this is to actually give you a bit more insight in, in the actual convention. Um, so, yeah. I really enjoyed it. It's on spring and summer. I don't know if it's on, like... Um, uh, autumn and winter, but to be honest here, we got the um the guest list for some of the guest lists for um the spring convention, so it must only be on spring and summer. So yeah, uh, we might go to both of them next year. It re really depends what what month it it falls on really. <clears throat> At the time I'm recording this on the 31st of July, so I'm going to be uploading this sometime this week as long as. Um, talk talk decides to keep the internet up for, up for longer than five seconds. Is a cosplay of uh, Toothless again. Neat little cosplay. I quite enjoyed it. Uh, there wasn't as many cosplayers as I thought, um, which was unfortunate. Unfortunate, but it was a Sunday, and most of them would be there on the Saturday and the um, Friday. Um, so it's understandable. I got as much as I could. I didn't like filming big crowds of people at a time, or or like um, uh, people's selling stands and memorabilia. I filmed the um, the other stuff on there because other people was doing it. To be honest with you, and he, and you was allowed to take pictures of them statues. Uh, this was another bit on that Meccano set, by the way. Um, anyway, I'm going to wrap this up here. Don't forget to uh, like and comment. I really appreciate it. Also, in the um, description below is on my social networking sites and a, um, my PayPal if anyone wants to leave a donation. Uh, all donations will go to um, events and stuff and basically uh, uh, improving my recording setup, obviously. Um and help a lot so until next time see you guys